What up guys, it's your boy Mark and Mark. I'm here for Pinoy Balance Ball Culture with my homeboys right here. We got Adam, how you feeling? Pretty good, pretty good. All right, we also brought up his boy here, We, How you feeling too? Feel really good. Feel really awesome. Good. Welcome to Pinoy Balance Ball Culture segment. Thank you guys for coming. Maybe tell us, to the audience out there, tell us a little bit about yourself and how did you guys meet? Yeah. Sure. Um, actually, it was uh, 2008. I um, started working at the Apple Store, mm -hmm. and Adam was already working there. Um, and that's essentially how we met. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, since 2008, we've been friends. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. But to you guys, like, since this is a Pinoy Balance, is a ball basketball yeah, show. Yeah. Tell us how basketball kind of came to your lives. Yeah. I, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, basketball has kind of like just been, I think, ingrained in my DNA from like birth, <laughs> I, I want to say. Yeah. I, was, I was kind of playing a lot of ball uh, as a kid, like being on the, like, I think grade six onwards was yeah. like a, was a huge era for me for playing ball, yeah. uh, being on the basketball team. And then like there's the era of like, I want to say like Sean Kemp and Gary Payton. Oh, those, those are the like, sad those are, those are like, yeah. yeah, those are like, kind of like the inspiration to me to continue playing ball. Yeah. Uh, Playing through high school, I joined like a few, a few like Filipino leagues, like mm -hmm. uh, FIBA and, and all that stuff. All right. uh, yeah, that's kind of like where I was. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Ball. How did ball kind of got into you? Um, yeah, for me, uh, like I was a teenager in the 90s, mm -hmm. and of course, during the 90s, it was all about the Bulls yeah. and the Bulls championship run. Uh, mm -hmm. So that was like a huge thing. And I think basketball has always been my favorite sport my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, but 90s ball, that 90s era, to me will always be the golden era of basketball. Mm -hmm. um, and I played a lot uh, as a kid. Um, I never really made teams because I was too short yeah, that's <laughs> at the time. The case the, yeah, like, like elementary yeah. school, I think grade eight, I was like 4'10". Like yeah. I couldn't do anything. So yeah. um, I was always short and then I never really made it to teams, but I always played it as like a hobby. I always played it like at the YMCA, mm -hmm. uh, pick up ball and stuff like that. So it's funny because like when I was in grade six, I think I had like my growth spurt at grade, in grade six. So oh, I was like the like... tallest in like grade six, seven, and eight. So I was and playing like got... center and wow. power forward at the time. Yeah. And then high school came and then like everybody everyone just, just like, <laughs> And you're just like, where did my go? I guess I'll play shooting guard now. <laughs> How did you guys became kind of good friends and kind of, you know, became really close? Uh, yeah, it's kind of a, I think it's a, it's a pretty interesting story. Yeah. So like, um, so again, we met at Apple uh, and um, I think a bunch of the guys at Apple were like, wanted to go out to watch a movie. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you've heard of Ninja Assassin. It's oh, like, okay. It's like, I, 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 yeah, it's, it's yeah, one yeah, of the, yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, like we were all to meet at like Coliseum at Square One mm -hmm. and literally it was just him and I that showed up. Yeah. And no one else. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. And this is before we were like really talking. So yeah. it was like, kind of went on a mandate. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's a bromance right there. Yeah. Yeah. Because, oh. yeah. And then from there on, we just like, I don't know, we just Forget. clicked. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. No, I mean, that's a pretty good way to kind of start our friendship. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of what brings to me into how did you guys kind of found an NA stock company? How did this come together from your friendship? So with NA stock company, um, so throughout the years that Adam and I became better friends, we did a lot of traveling. So our group mm -hmm. of friends, we traveled pretty much like all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, so traveling was kind of like our love. And the way that NA stock started was <clears throat> at the time, uh, like Yeezys were popular and you know Adidas was popular so it was mm -hmm. about three years ago mm -hmm. and I like to play on Photoshop and kind of design and make you know different designs for fun mm -hmm. and I created like uh, a play on the YZY like Yeezy mm -hmm. and made it YYZ mm -hmm. and then changed the, the Adidas logo into like more of a Canadian leaf so it was like a parody logo mm -hmm. and I always wanted like I was thinking of adding that design onto a luggage tag because as we travel, every time your luggage comes out and it's like a, a black piece of luggage, you you're like, which one's mine? mine yeah. So yeah. you have to like tie a shoelace yeah. or tie a ribbon or a sock or something just to make it stand out and unique. Yeah. And I hated that. So I was like, I want to create a, a luggage tag. And um, I went online, went on Alibaba and kind of just looked for luggage tags and I eventually landed on um, the tags that we currently have mm -hmm. and I showed Adam the, uh, the design 
Yeah. And then from there, Adam was like, yo, that's like a really cool design. Yeah. And then he was like, do you want to like join forces and sell it online? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because at the time, uh, like Adam was able to create like a website and everything. So he kind of handled that side of the business. Yeah. Uh, and then that's really how it all started. Yeah. Um, but we started selling it in person first to okay. our friends and family. Yeah. And I think I made about 100 tags and yeah. it literally sold out like instantly. Everybody wow. like at my work, everybody wanted it and it sold out really quick. Yeah. So that's why we're, we knew we had a good product. Yeah. Uh, and when we sold it online, essentially we sold out within like yeah. days. Yeah. 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 And like, it's weird. It's like insane. one of those things like yeah. you start a business. Yeah. But we literally sold like right away. Yeah. yeah. So it was more so we sold off demand. It wasn't even like, hey, like we just kind of built something and people will come. No, like people were already there. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. even like we had like our Instagram set up or our Twitter set up. Yeah. We just were selling it through our, our own social accounts. Yeah. And I guess like a lot of our friends and family were just like, oh, that's so cool. It's like yeah. kind of, it's kind of different. Right? Yeah. Like you don't often see a luggage Something tag like yeah, that, right? Yeah, like I true, think most unique. people identify like a luggage tag with like the Canadian flag. At least mm -hmm. most people in Canada. And you really do have their names on it, but now right. it's you guys have made it specifically with designs like yeah. these, right? And this is kind of where we kind of wanted to do a show and tell. Show us a little bit of bringing the basketball and your company and they start coming to play. Show us a little bit of some of your designs that you kind of have worked with. Yeah, so uh, kind of one of the designs that we have here um, is the Toronto oh, sweet, yeah. uh, Championship tag. Mm -hmm. uh, so of course, you know, our boys won this year mm -hmm. um, and we wanted to make a tag that also represented it. Mm -hmm. um, very similar, of course, to um, a lot of Toronto merchandise using the gold. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to keep that theme and it was because there's a connection, it allowed us to be able to sell it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. um, and it allowed people to kind of identify like, hey, Toronto Raptors champion, even though, of course, it's not Raptors, mm -hmm. but it's still Toronto, Toronto. champions, right? Yeah. Um, we also got uh, lucky because um, someone who actually works for MLSE, MLSE yeah. um, she reached out and was like, hey, can you make some custom tags for us? Yeah. And so we were able to make like a actual Raptors branded wow. tag uh, with YYZ and Canada on the back. YYZ, yeah. of course, being our airport code. Yeah. Um, but these tags were exclusive to like the Raptors. executives yeah. or Raptors, like high clientele. Wow. So we don't have, of course, the rights to sell it publicly. Yeah. This was a private sale, like a custom sale, so yeah. only they have it. So we still have some as like our own collection our own. sample. Yeah. yeah, that's insane. Yeah, so they made, made uh, other ones too. So not only, yeah, we did uh, for the Raptors. The OB, that's the OVO color, with right? The, um, yeah. With the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, so the there's, a, there's a blue version. There's a Toronto Maple Leafs specific ones. Yeah. Uh, and then we kind of did the carry on <laughs> oh that's insane kinda, wow yeah. and carry on <laughs> yeah that's awesome yeah. yeah i guess for you guys like how does it feel for you guys to be able to just kind of put the love of your game for the, the basketball and to the nba and be able to do and to kind of mix that and have that to work alongside with your business how does that feel for you guys uh it feels like i mean it feels really good i, I think like just like basketball alone has been like a pretty big inspiration for us in terms of like uh, how we design and come up with ideas for our tags. Mm -hmm. uh, just like having the, the Raptors colorways for like their jerseys, the, the, the camo or the, um, the retro and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like we use those and we kind of implement it into our product uh, because it's like kind of, you know, it's, it's inspirational to us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's also like the the, the uh, Toronto theme colors. So mm -hmm. when you see a tag Toronto and it's purple, black, and red, mm -hmm. you instantly connect that you know yeah. those are Raptor colors, yeah. and you feel proud to to like rock that tag. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. um, a lot of like Toronto culture and stuff like that does fall into like our own design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's insane like, in terms of where it took you guys from. I mean, from meeting. At a, at a movie theater where you thought you were gonna meet other <laughs> yeah. friends to starting a company and starting travel tags and just selling it quickly to everybody and all of a sudden now you guys are working with MLSC with the routers to get travel tags specific custom made for them maybe to our audience out there before we kind of go on the landing with regards to your story any advice that you guys want to kind of give to audience out there in terms of people that are pursuing passion in, in their in the creative field or in the creative industry mm. uh, like, I guess 
When we and I started any stock, this was like our first attempt to, to creating a business. So I think one thing to, to kind of expect is there's going to be a lot of, uh, not in a negative light, there's going to be quite a bit of failure. Mm -hmm. But with that failure, there's a lot of learning. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of like kind of pivoting, adjusting, and kind of creating your own formula. Mm -hmm. um, I think the way that we did it was pretty strategic. Uh, we did have like a full-time job at the time mm -hmm. uh, where we kind of spent our extra time in trying to figure out what worked for us. Mm -hmm. um, and then eventually kind of combined it, our passion for travel, streetwear, sneaker <laughs> design, mm -hmm. and then trying to, you know, made into a business. Mm -hmm. And it kind of eventually just took off. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, I hope you guys have enjoyed that episode with Adam and we, where can they, where can they find you guys? Your camera's right here. Any shout outs before we kind of end the segment? Uh, shout out to my kids, uh, Minato and Arisa. Yeah, shout out to my, uh, my, my niece Chloe, my sister Carol, and my husband Chris, <laughs> and my fiance Abby. Uh, and you can find us at uh, www.nastockcompany.com. Uh, you'll find a lot of our variations of tags there. We have probably about, I don't know, right now 20 designs up. Yeah. Uh, find us on uh, Instagram as well too, right. uh, any stock company. Awesome. I'm definitely going to get some because I'm traveling to the Philippines and I want to represent the Raptors and the Philippines with some of their travel tags. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, but stay tuned guys. We have more for you guys to come. I hope you guys enjoyed that ball culture segment. Shout out to homeboys from NA Stock Company. They're doing some amazing designs, travel tags, and some good costs. Donating one of their Philippine travel tags, 50% of it goes into the Taal Volcano Relief Victims. And to end the show, any last words you want to say out there, Ingrid? Uh, be sure to check us out on all social media platforms. Uh, give us a like, send in your videos, and we'll showcase you. Awesome. Any last word then to our audience out there? Where can they find you? What do you want to see uh, more of your artwork and designs? Uh, yeah, if you guys want to check out my uh, custom art pieces on sneakers, uh, you can follow me at Inked Out Kicks on Instagram and Twitter, YouTube. Also, uh, yeah, the website, www.inkedoutkicks.com. Awesome. Other than that, stay ballin'.